Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Today I have quite a lot to do. Um, if you don't already know, which I guess most of you probably will because I've mentioned it about 55 times on my Instagram story and multiple times in my YouTube videos, I am going on holiday. I actually go on Tuesday, which is really soon because today is Friday. I have a lot to do before the holiday. Don't get me wrong, it's no serious kind of stuff. It's just last minute things like get my nails done, get my toenails done. I'm going to Primark today to go and get all the essential bits that everyone needs when they're going on holiday and I just thought I'd just take you guys along with me and then when we come back I have got a load of packing to do so I just thought it'd be quite interesting for me to show you some of my holiday outfits before you actually see them on the actual holiday because by the way I am vlogging my entire trip. I just thought I'd quickly show you my really organised mess. I mean can we call it organised? I'm not sure but this just sums up what my entire life is like. Here is my rail full of stuff that I am taking away. I mean, I'm not sure if I'll actually be taking everything because this is an awful lot of clothes, but I just kind of need to sort everything out. I always put rails up like this when I'm going on holiday because it kind of gives me an idea what I'm about to take. Then I do actually have some new suitcases which I hear. Um, I will show you more about all of those later. But I will discuss everything about the suitcases and anything you've seen on this rail. will either be discussed later on in this video or in my next video which will be the start of my holiday videos. I also quickly just want to mention that obviously when I pan around my house you are going to see that a lot of it is quite a bit of a mess. And the truth is, you know those youtubers that you see where their house is literally pristine perfect well my family's house is definitely not like that i wish it was but i have so many clothes and so much stuff that is just everywhere and i just don't have the time to clear up every single time i'm about to film so please don't judge me or my family that is just how it is anyway on that note i am gonna get going i need to grab my keys and let's get in the car I would love completely for us to do like a come drive with me and for me to like set you up in my car. I bought this thing off of Amazon, cost me like £12 to like put my camera on. Does it work? No, it doesn't. So we won't be doing that. I've got you like propped up on my, um, <laughs> no, it's completely broke because I've thrown it on the floor. I've just got you propped up on the side, but I can't really be doing that when I'm driving because you're going to be bouncing all over the place like that i basically come to primark for all my essentials i've mentioned it before underwear socks pajamas hairbands just all that kind of stuff because despite what anyone says it's the best place to go for all of that so i'm in the pajama section i need something kind of short for holiday obviously something that's cool this cracks me up that i actually show from on youtube this sort of stuff but you know it's kind of interesting so let me just show you the selection we've got we've got a lot of disney going on right now i don't really feel like i'm a disney kind of girl if i'm absolutely honest let me show you what all this stuff looks like. Wow, this is definitely not sexy. Although I'm not going on holiday with anyone I need to be sexy with. I'm going on holiday with my best mate. But even so, not really much of a vibe. Got some little mermaid going on here. We've got some Winnie the Pooh. Monsters Inc. Oh my life, why is everything like this? I found some pretty stuff. These are so nice, but same again. I want shorts and that's the top that go with them. That's a little bit grannyish though, if you ask me. Um, they have got these kind of silky shorts, which are quite pretty. And they have got the material shorts. Oh, maybe I could wear these shorts with that. That's very holiday vibes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that. The shorts are five pounds and the top is seven. Before I forget, I'm gonna quickly do a run through of my outfit because what is a vlog with Freya without her doing a run through of the outfit? Let me quickly put this basket down so you can see it in full. So I've got my H&M Mac on, which featured in another video. I can't really quite remember when, but it was a little while ago now. I have lived in this. It's only 25.99. I've got one of my Topshop boxy t-shirts on underneath. I've then got my Louis Vuitton bum bag on, which is the perfect shopping bag because obviously it's hands free. In terms of jeans, I've got my Zara mum jeans on, which you all know I live in. My shoes, I've got my Naked Wolf trainers on and we all know these are the comfiest shoes I own. I swear to God, Primark is so busy today and everyone is looking at me and I've had about five people stop me and ask me what I'm doing. I feel like maybe I'm just gonna buy what I need and then turn this into a Primark haul and, and then just show you what I've got when I'm packing at home because this is becoming slightly awkward. In future, can someone just remind me never to go shopping in Primark after about half three on a Friday? Wow. It was literally so busy and everyone, literally everyone was asking me who I was, what I was doing, what I was filming. I've never felt so awkward in all of my life. 
I did meet some lovely girls though that asked what my YouTube channel was. If you're here watching this then, hi girls, it was lovely to meet you. But wow, I really didn't do my job properly. I got everything I needed though. So when I get home, I'm just gonna haul it all with you and then show you what I've got that way because the whole walking around Primark with me thing didn't really go to to plan. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight or maybe tomorrow night. I'm going to get all my cases out and I'm going to start packing everything. So when I do that, I'm going to show you everything I bought. Don't get me wrong, it's nothing too interesting. But it's just loads of a Primark necessity. Which I think is always really handy to know, if you know what I mean. I'm just about to start packing. I'm about three days on from me going to Primark, I think. But I haven't unpacked the bags yet. And by the way, sorry that it's night time in this video now. But I just need to pack tonight. I couldn't do it today. So I hope it doesn't really affect the filming too much. The fact it is quite dark but i literally have no alternative right i'm just gonna pick out all the stuff i got from primark trust me it is not very interesting i just go there for essentials so don't expect me to be showing you any fancy clothes because there are literally none in here by the way if i'm not really looking my best right now it's because i've been out all day right okay so a lot of this stuff is also underwear so if you don't like seeing people's underwear then skip this part of the video first up i bought i think two pairs of these i have them in a size small they were three pounds and all they are is just long leggings black leggings i wear them to work so every time i go to primark i always stock up on those also these are really good just for every day they actually look really nice with these kind of top shop t-shirts i also have a pretty little thing oversized t-shirt which is perfect to wear with these they look really good with trainers and they're perfect for traveling in as well next thing is okay pants now i've shown you all my primark pants on youtube before these are the ones i get they're three pounds for three pairs so pounds a pair i get so many packets of these when i go so i got three packs in white and then i got a pack in black everyone needs new underwear for holiday when i was a kid my mum would always buy us new underwear for holidays and now i just feel like it's ingrained in me that i'm meant to do that every single trip i go on now on to bras, I always just get the regular t-shirt bras. I've spoken about this before, but I always just use Primark t-shirt bras as everyday kind of bras. They're only £2 each. They're really comfortable and I mean, there's not really much to show you here. They're perfect for work and stuff like that. I do have like my nicer underwear and then I have just like my everyday underwear. My nice underwear is say for special occasions. And then these are just saved for work and stuff like that. So I got nude, white and I did get a black one as well but I think that's somewhere else in the bag. So that's done with underwear, I think. Now on to other little bits. I always pick up a pack of these clips whenever I go to Primark. They're so handy when you're on holiday because you know when you're super hot, you can pin your hair up on your head. They're good for when you're doing your makeup as well so you can clip your fringe back in my case because obviously I've got a fringe. And I always lose these so whenever I go, I stock up on those. I always get a pack of hairbands, same again, a pound for about six million. But I swear, isn't it a known thing that it doesn't matter how many hairbands I have, I lose them and I never see them again. I always think like, where did they actually disappear to? How can you lose like 50 hairbands a month? I have no idea. Right, I saw this bag. So I never really buy much from Primark other than essentials, like I've said 25 times. Then I saw this little wicker like clutch bag. It is actually a proper bag because it's got the long strap in it as well. But I thought this could look so cute on holiday. It was actually six pounds. Zara would be selling this kind of stuff for like easily 30 quid. So yes. Yeah, six pound Primark. I was well happy with that find. Okay, next up is a piece of clothing and actually the only bit of clothing that I bought. It is a men's grey hoodie. Now I buy so much men's stuff from Primark because I love everything being big as I say every single time I'm on YouTube. But I do, I love everything to be oversized and so I always get their hoodies. Now this is in a size large, these are only £8. They've got this kind of fleecy material inside, a pocket and obviously a hood because it's a hoodie so obviously it's got a hood for you. I think these are really handy just to have and you can wear these with like grey cycling shorts you could wear with the black leggings that I showed you a minute ago for eight quid I just always pick them up whenever I go on to the second bag now this it seems to be a lot of socks so I don't know how interesting this is going to be I have a pack of white socks you get five crew socks £1.80 £1.80 for five pairs of socks that's madness isn't it it's so cheap I got them in black as well. I always buy these socks in black because I wear my Dr. Martins with proper socks. I then bought these. These are £3.50. And what these are, they're those little socks that you can wear when you've got trainers on. So you can't see the sock when you've got your shoe on. I got black trainer socks, £2 for seven pairs. I was going to say, why are trainer socks more expensive than regular socks? 
because there's actually less material. It's actually because in here there's seven pairs and in those there's five pairs. The last pair of socks I got were these little frilly ankle socks. I just thought they'd look really cute with my trainers when I'm on holiday with skirts on. I'm not really too sure if I will actually wear them, but they seem like a good idea at the time. You get two pairs for two pounds. Bargain. In terms of pyjamas, now I always get new pyjamas for holidays, the same as you get new underwear, you have to have new PJs. Another thing my mum always used to do whenever we'd go on family trips. I actually wanted these really cute flowery pyjamas, I did actually film them when I was in the store, I'm sure of it. But they didn't have my size and I was so upset. Anyway, I didn't really like much else they had. Oh my god, guess what I've done? I've picked this up in a size 18 to 20 extra large. Oh, it was on a size 6 to 8 hanger. Well, anyway guys, I picked up a nighty that definitely isn't going to fit me. It's this pink and white striped nighty that I was planning on wearing on holiday, but it's very big. For God's sake. I thought these were cycling shorts. So I've just bought three pairs of the same leggings and I thought a pair of cycling shorts. Well, this haul is turning out to be terrible. Let's hope my packing doesn't go as badly in a minute. The last thing I picked up were these Kirby grips. Is that the type of grip they are? Kirby grips, I think so. This is another thing that I buy every single month and lose all of them within four weeks and I do not know where they end up. I don't know how many is in a pack but it does look like quite a lot and they're only a pound. So that was my Primark haul. I'm well pissed off about my pyjamas, for God's sake. Anyway, let me go and get my suitcases and then I need to start packing. I have the biggest case ever. It's brand new. I haven't used it yet, obviously, because it's new and it's huge. Imagine not being able to go on holiday because you set your hair alight filming a YouTube video on a candle that was in the background. Right, now we have got rid of those fire hazards. Let's open this thing up. I don't even know where the zips are. I actually have a mini one as well that I'm going to use as like my cabin bag. So like a little hand luggage one as well, which matches this one, which is amazing. It's got two different compartments in it, as you can see, and then got a zip fit as well. And then got these clip things you can hold everything in. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to organise everything. By the way, I'm in my chill outfit, so please don't judge me. My top's top shop. My trousers are also top shop. I'll link them down below if anyone wants this beautiful outfit. There's a couple of things you need to know about me and packing. Number one is... I'm not the best packer, so if you're watching this thinking this girl's going to teach me how to pack, I am not. Number two is, I do not pack lights. If you're thinking I'm going to teach you how to pack light, you're on the wrong channel. What I have learnt though in my time of packing is, I used to just do a pile of t-shirts, a pile of shorts, etc, etc. But now what I do is I always make my outfits up as I put them in. So I make my outfit and then I put it in all together. So then when I get there, I can roughly remember what things I was planning on wearing with what, if that makes any sense. So let me just tell you, the first place I'm going is Miami. So I'm just going for kind of cool, casual sort of outfits pretty much the whole time I'm there. Other than the evenings, they're obviously a little bit more dressy. The second place I'm going is the Bahamas. So I just wanted like more bright and colourful and loose fitting stuff for there. So this dress is actually from the Lorna Luxe in the Style Collection. I love Lorna, she is amazing and the collection that she released is just as amazing as she is. So this dress is from it. I actually think it's sold out, but I do know that she's re-releasing it very soon. By the time you've watched this though, it probably will have already been re-released, but this dress is gorgeous on. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse whilst I pack all of my Bahama stuff. <laughs> from Opoly. I'm giving you a sneak peek of my outfits now, but I just thought they were very Miami vibes. I'm going to wear them with a denim jacket, which is a good job I mentioned because I don't know where my denim jacket is, but I just think this would look so cool in the daytime with a chunky pair of trainers. Actually, I'm going to let you sneak a peek of my new trainers. So this is them. They're from a brand called Naked Wolf. I already have them in black and I've been wearing them to death. They are so comfy. So my plan is I'm going to wear these trainers 
with, sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath because I just ran up and down the stairs, with this grey, like, unitard, and then with my denim jacket over the top as well. I'm not really sure how hot or cold it's going to be there, though, so... I'm not really sure if I need the denim jacket, but I think that would look really cool. So that's a Miami vibe outfit for you. I feel absolutely exhausted and I haven't even finished or anywhere near even finished. I've put my big suitcase on the floor and I'm just going to get my little hand luggage one. By the way, I fully rate this company. So they're called Away and they do the most amazing luggage. It's so robust and it's just really well made. Same again, this is like the other case. It's got those like different sections to it as well. This case has a really, really cool thing on it, but I'm going to show you that in my holiday vlog because... It's just too cool to show you right now, basically. I always, always take hand luggage because I pack all of my expensive things, all of my handbags and stuff like that that are worth any money I always put into my hand luggage. That is just because if, pray to God, it never happens, but if my case ever gets lost, my main case, I don't lose all of my expensive stuff because imagine that, imagine it going missing and all of your bags are in there and stuff. I also pack anything that's super heavy in here as well. This bag that I got from Zara, which you'd have seen in my last Zara haul, is really quite heavy. So I'm going to put this at the bottom. This is my little Chloe Nile. I always stuff them. This isn't stuffed though, so I do need to do that before I pack it. I will stuff, oh it is stuffed with a pair of tights. Interesting Freya. I'm going to put it in its dust bag, stuff it out, and I just need to put something around this because when you put this on the leather, it marks it. I know, what a nightmare of a bag. It looks so nice in the summer though, so it has its advantages. But what I do is I literally just fill up my case with all the bags and stuff that I'm going to be using. Now, I'm going to also do that with all of my trainers, so all of these things, because they're kind of heavy, well, these are actually really heavy, I'm going to pack all of my trainers in my hand luggage as well. I've got to that point where, you know, when you just keep touching everything, but you're not actually moving forward at all. Because I just don't know what else to do with all of this stuff. I think I'm going to leave it for the night because I'm actually knackered. And I need to be up super early. So I think I'm just going to leave everything that I've done right now. And then I'm just going to pack all my final bits. So when I do my makeup tomorrow, I'll do it bit by bit and then chuck it all into this case. So I know I've definitely got everything. I just need to do toiletries and then just add final bits. And I also need to organise what I'm going to wear to the airport airport outfits matter you know